After living in our little house for a little while now, I'm starting to see where the problem areas are. So in the kitchen, storage is definitely an issue. Um, I've been storing vegetables on top of the island table and it's just starting to look a little bit cluttered. So um, if originally I wanted to put a shelf underneath this table, but I thought that might look a little bit heavy, a little bit um, distracting. So this was my next idea. I just did up this little sketch of making like a little hanging basket that would go down underneath the table. That way, that way then when I'm making the dinner, I can just reach down under and grab an onion, grab a potato, whatever it is that I need. So the materials that I used to make this was, was just um, hessian. It's those hessian sacks that you can buy in any agricultural store, DIY store, I think. Um, so I just used three for this project. There's quite a lot of material actually when you cut them open, it's quite large. One thing I would say about cutting hessian is that it does make a lot of dust. There's a lot of little fibres that sort of um, rise up with the air and they sort of settle on everything. So just uh, be careful about where you'd be cutting it. Um, the next thing I did was to cover a piece of plywood. I had this old square piece of plywood that just had some contact paper stuck on it. Um, I used a square piece because my table is square. So I just wrapped the hessian around it and then held it in place using drawing pins. This then is the underneath part and when you turn it over, this will be the part that will be visible. The next thing I did was to cut open another hessian sack and I placed the board into the middle of it and just did my best to eyeball it and get it centered um, because the board is going to be the base of it and then the outer layer is going to be the basket part that sort of comes up around the sides. So I need to form a sort of a little hessian box for the base to sit down in. So um, I cut around the square leaving a little seam allowance. I think I did about an inch, maybe a centimeter and a half. Um, so hessian is really easy to cut. You just stab your, your scissors down into it and um, so you don't need to cut in from the edge. I find corners a little bit tricky, so I always put um, a pin in diagonally pointing towards the corner just so that when it comes time to sew it, I remember where to stop. So it should look something like this once it's all been pinned. I sewed from corner to corner and I cut my thread at each corner only because I find it really awkward to just keep going in one long line the whole way around.
this is how I form corners. Um, I sort of match the two edges and then I sew up perpendicular from the original line that I was sewing and that forms a box corner. I know there's lots of different ways to do a box corner. Um, this is just the easiest way that I find anyway. So once it's all been sewn, it should look a little bit like this, like a little box or a little basket. I made two of these little boxes um, because I wanted it to be quite neat and clean. I didn't want to be able to see any of the seams. So I made two that I could, so that I could fit one inside the other and hide the seams all on the inside. I already folded down the top edges of the first little box that I made just to form the height that I needed. I could have cut off the extra material in the corners, but I decided to leave that because I thought it would help to make the edges more rigid, which it did. So I just kept going in this way until it formed the shape that I, that I wanted. I wasn't too fussy about it as long as it had um, edges high enough to, to hold the vegetables in. The next part I just did by hand because there were so many layers of hessian it wouldn't have fit through the sewing machine. So I just used a simple um, blanket stitch or I think some people call it a chain stitch just to hold the, the inner bag to the outer bag so that they could form one bag. I find hand sewing very therapeutic. It's sort of rhythmic and um, methodical, becomes sort of mechanical, so you can sort of let your, your mind wander. So uh, I really enjoy doing that. This is the box all formed and um, it's by no means perfect. Uh, I'm not fantastic at sewing to be honest, but as long as it gets the job done, that's my motto. The next thing I did was to drill a hole in each of the four corners so that I could put a chain down through it. And I would recommend drilling the holes without the hessian on the board because it actually gets stuck in the drill bit. I learned that the hard way. And I just turned the last link on its side just to hold it in place on the underneath. I then just simply hand sewed one of the links to the actual um, hessian box and I tried to make sure I did that at the same height in each corner to keep it level. To attach the chains to the table, all I did was screw in a little hook into each corner uh, on the underneath side of the table and then just placed the, one of the links of each chain onto the hook. 
This is just a really super practical little box um, right beneath the, the, the food prep table. It's going to be so handy and it can actually support quite a lot of weight I find because um, I had a whole glut of quinces there recently and I don't know if you're familiar with quinces but they're a very heavy dense fruit and this little hessian box was able to support the weight of those without any issue so um, it's definitely a practical thing to have in place and I think even in the future if I decided to no longer use it for vegetables it would still come in handy for maybe uh, table linen or cookbooks and it's quite easy to take down and hoover out or, or even uh, I could even take it apart and, and wash the hessian if, if I really needed to so um, it's, uh, it's really practical and I'm really delighted with how it turned out so thank you for watching I really love doing these sort of little DIY projects around the house so I hope maybe that it was helpful to someone out there. Uh, I look forward to sharing more in the future, I'm always up to little things like this and um, I'll also be sharing with you soon uh, some more about our renovation and some progress that we've been making so I look forward to that as well. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.